it said that the probability was 40% that it was cancer. Thyroid nodules are very common in women, and sometimes the only way to find out if it's cancerous is to have it removed. I had to have surgery in 2011 to have a nodule removed, and luckily it was benign. But if you look closely, you can still see I do have a scar on my neck. Well, now there's a way to have surgery without the scar. Robin Reed Hicks had just started an exciting new job. Hosting her own national talk show on the Afrotainment cable network. Welcome to Journey. I'm your host, Robin Reed. But she couldn't get a comment from an unlikely critic out of her head. And my mom said, your neck looks fat. I mean, that's how it happened. So during a routine checkup, she asked her doctor about it. Sent me for the ultrasound, and they found a nodule. The nodule on Robin's thyroid was causing her neck to swell, and further testing determined there was a fairly high chance that nodule could be cancerous. I'm a wife, I'm a mother, um, and all I could think was, okay, you know, I've got a little boy in the fourth grade, I've got, you know, a husband who, who counts on me, this is not supposed to happen at this point in my life. She had to get it removed, but knew the traditional surgeries would leave her with the scar in the center of her neck. And as an African American, um, our tendency is to keloid scar, which is a nice raised scar that could not only just be raised, but also discolored from a natural skin tone. And with my career, I thought this is just I thought it was the worst thing that could happen. So she hit the internet trying to track down any alternatives and found that robotic surgery could be the answer. But not very many doctors in the entire world are doing robotic thyroid surgeries. Luckily, a doctor pioneering the procedure had just come to Florida Hospital celebration. Robotic thyroidectomy in the U.S. is a very uncommon, very rare operation. Dr. Scott Magnuson learned the procedure from surgeons in Asia, where it's actually performed quite often. The robot gets into small places and you can use the robot machine then to remove whatever, in this case, a thyroid gland. The robotic instruments are inserted underneath the armpit and then travel up across the neck to access the thyroid. Thyroid, so the scar is concealed under the patient's arm. Magnuson had performed the surgery a few dozen times in other parts of the country, but since he was brand new to Florida Hospital, Robin became the first patient here to get it. The biggest blessing is that it wasn't cancer, and then again beyond blessed because I now have a scar that's, that's not visible to the audience. Magnuson also performs various other surgeries on the head and neck using that Da Vinci robot. You can find out more about them as well as a home self-exam to check your own thyroid on Local 6 Facebook page. Go to facebook.com slash local6. If you like our page, you'll find all the links that you need to know. And um, as I said, there weren't local doctors who were doing the surgery mm -hmm. when I had mine. And not everybody is eligible for that kind of surgery. And you know, it's very um, touchy to operate on a thyroid, especially with the nerves that control your vocal cords. And, but your scar looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really it's, faded. Yeah, it's really not bad. But again, she's very right. African Americans, their scars look much different than yeah. someone who's as pale as I am. You can barely see anything. Yeah. Well, it looks <laughs> so good. So it worked out well. All right.